Seoul and surrounding areas are soaking wet as the autumn monsoon front continues to affect the peninsula. The country is also bracing for Typhoon Lingling, likely to hit South Korea this weekend, packing winds of up to 200 kilometers per hour. Um Ji Young starts us off with the forecast. Heavy downpours have drenched Seoul and the surrounding regions. The Korea Meteorological Administration lifted heavy rainfall warnings issued earlier on Thursday for many parts of the nation, including Seoul, Gyeonggi-do Province, and Jeju Island. However, heavy rainfall warnings are still issued for parts of Jeollanam-do and Gangwon-do provinces. The National Weather Agency forecasts that heavy rain is likely to continue until tomorrow in parts of the central region, while the Jeollado region and Jeju Island are expected to get up to 50 millimeters of precipitation per hour. Heavy rain warnings are issued when more than 90 millimeters of rain is expected in three hours, or 180 millimeters of rain is expected in 12 hours. But following the fall monsoon showers, the nation will have to brace for Typhoon Lingning expected to slam into the Korean Peninsula this weekend. Torrential rain and strong winds are forecast for Jeju Island from Friday until Sunday. The storm is then expected to pass through the capital region en route to Vladivostok, Russia the following day. The typhoon is expected to pack winds of up to 35 meters per second as it passes the Western Sea. This is strong enough to turn over a running train. As serious damage is expected, people are advised to take all necessary precautions to minimize any harm to lives and property. Experts advise securing windows, stay indoors, and taking extra precautionary measures against landslides. Um Ji Young, Arirang News.